Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Angels Bob's Plus here in uh, Factorio. In the last episode, well, actually before we get to that, episode 86, I remembered this time. If you guys haven't already, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button as well, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future episodes and whatnot. And we'll get right into it. So, in between episodes, I went ahead and connected up Yellow Science, so that now flows over to the Science area. As you notice, we don't technically have enough to produce it. That is mainly because we don't have enough uh, aluminum and plastic, which is for several reasons that have happened in between episodes. So we'll kind of just go over some of the current shortfalls of the factory. Uh, another one is plastic is still not catching up. It is slowly getting there. Now the fourth machine is starting to turn on. Uh, but, but again, very, very slowly. But as we mentioned, that's what happens when you have very closely ratioed items. It's not a lot of excess. Uh, another major shortfall is grain circuit production, which is partially due to not enough carbon, or at least not enough throughput of the carbon, so we're going to have to go ahead and upgrade that along with the production. Um, let's see. The other major shortfall is, as you notice, there's not a whole lot of slag flowing, and there's also not a whole lot of other ore flowing. That is due to uh, certain production blocks, as you can see, having shut down because the warehouses are full. And this is due to there's no output for the crushed stone or the slag. Um, and so there's nowhere for the all the extra ore to go. So for now, sir, some of these are going to start shutting down. Actually, a lot of them already have. Um, the only one that hasn't is the Javolite because it actually has an output for all of its pr production products. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to fix all those in between episodes just so we don't have to go through that. In today's episode, we're going to go over fish. We're going to return down here to the fish land. This is because, if you guys remember several episodes ago, in our goal to kind of start working towards production science, we need to get red, uh, well, not red circuits, uh, get productivity modules, which require productivity circuit boards, which require splinter, red splinters, which get made from fish water, of all things. Well, in order to produce enough crystals for, you, for just fish, five assembling machine threes, we need 20 of these crystallizers. Um, and yes, you see that number correctly, 149 fish tanks. Now we can cut that number in half if we use the other recipe, but th that's a net, it's a net negative recipe. So we'll run out of fish and eventually it won't work anymore. This is a net positive uh, thing. Now, of course you can use it in conjunction. I'm sure there's a ratio of like however many of the net negative to the net positive type thing, but for now we're just going to go with the net positive and we'll burn off the fish somehow. Um, we do also need to scale up the artificial or the artificial fish water, say that 20 times fast. Um, and then of course we also have to produce more purified water. And then I'll of course look at the uh, brown, uh, uh, brown algae? Yeah, I believe that's brown algae. And it looks like things are slowing. So like power? Well, yeah, but power we have extra of. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do is this is in a row of 15. And so then we're just going to scale it down uh, 10 times. Well, nine more times, technically. That will give us the 150 we need. Well, 149 we need in order to sustain. So for now, let's go ahead and scale up the fluid side of things. Um, Again, we'll just set up all our supporting things down here over to the left, and this should be enough. It will take some time for things to fill up, but we should more or less be able to get everything flowing sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, th this is one of those unfortunate steps that is just going to consume a large area. Um, you could argue petrochems as a whole. Um, but this is one build. This isn't a, like, uh, uh, yeah, okay, it is a sub-mod, but it's one recipe that requires such a large area, right? Because, sure, you, I mean, you know, you could argue that the refining area requires a large area, but it, it's kind of separate recipes. This is one recipe that's going to eat up a large area. Like, it's doing one thing and one thing only. So... Uh, so let's just do something like this. Uh, let's see which one we need. Purified water. All right, we'll go like that. Uh, we need several of these ground water bores. 
Bulldozer crafting. Let's just go ahead and get the fluid set up. All right, so we need the saline water. We don't need the purified water. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of that. We're going to go ahead and put two purifiers down so that we can make that way we can make sure we maintain a level of um, just capacity. We want to make sure that we don't ever, uh, for whatever reason, back up at all because this is definitely something we don't want backing up because this is going to be what we rely on for one of our science packs. So we definitely want to make sure that we are producing adequate amount constantly. And one way to do that is just making sure that we have adequate output for all of our components. So we're going to go one, go two like that, two like that. Let's see. Well, like I said, I still wish I could drag the underground pipe to just auto connect and you know, drag like the power poles. I feel like they could do it. I feel I feel like the code would be similar enough for them to do, but I don't know. Alright, so that's working. Clarifiers are clarifying all that. Awesome. Alright, so now basically we're just taking what production we have right now and changing it over. So this also takes regular water. Uh do I have There we go. I right. Um, yeah, I suppose we'll just start it from the top. There you go. Uh, where are they? Right here. Uh, let me just make sure that it's on the right orientation, because I know sometimes these things are a little bit finicky with their inputs. Yeah, okay, we're good. And then we gotta go something like... How many do we need? We have 11, so we need five more. And I literally did not count. We need one more. All right. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and connect all of static water in well not really static water but just the normal baseline water that doesn't have salt in it but then we take salt out of it to add salt back in it is one of the great mysteries of of bobs you take salt out of water to add it back into the water to make it into salt water but if there was already salt in it wouldn't it just already be salt water it's it's the great mystery of factorio it's as if how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a wood could chuck wood scenario. It's I don't know, it's it's intriguing. Alright, so that's all connected up, so let's go like that. And see, if I can drag power poles like this, I should be able to drag pipe. Or even belt for that matter. Awesome. So now that that's hooked up. Let's go ahead and create our monstrosity that is going to exist. Uh, we'll probably have to rework the input side of things quite considerably, actually. Um, but that's fine. Yeah. Actually, not by much, I don't think. So that still has to exist. Right, but then we need one to exist such that, yeah, like that, okay. Okay, and then, so I don't need that. Um, yeah, I don't need that either. Oh yeah. Okay. 
What could go wrong? All sides from a few things needing to be removed. Uh, there's quite considerably a lot of things wrong right now with this. Um, as you can see, this is going to be a lot. An astronomical amount of fish farms. But from all the builds I have seen people do, they don't do really anything too far off of what I'm doing right now. A lot of people I see are doing massive builds with these. Some people, of course, are again doing the other build, or rather the other recipe that is a net negative, and then uh, balancing it out with just enough net positives to, to kind of feed everything up, and it, it works. There's also a slightly better, more efficient um, cell, like a splinter cell production method. However, that requires a lot of infrastructure we don't currently have set up. And although, yes, this is a lot of infrastructure compared, uh, or at least comparatively, it's simple infrastructure, right? It's just a whole lot of the same thing over and over again versus a lot of, like, small things that we would have to construct and then facilitate. So, uh, let's go ahead and just mine all this up. I will say one thing I don't like is that I have to then have all this in my inventory, and because it's all damaged, it takes up in different spots. I am... How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome. Cool. Alright. Go to town, my minions. And then, of course, we'll get everything hooked up. And then this should be able to produce enough of the polluted fish water that we need. Now, of course, again, like I said, it's going to take a while for all this to fully fill up. But once it is fully filled up, it should produce us enough of the fish water we need to crystallize, get the crystals, and then be able to produce enough of the red crystals. As for the blue and green, because they're not going to really be used, I'm going to have to try to find a new uh, home for them of, in some sort of fashion. Um, now, of course, for now, I'll probably just store them in, in the uh, short term, but in the long term, we will have to find a solution for them because they're not going to be used at the same capacity or you know the same amount that the red ones will be used. I'm always happy though to see the my little list of a production block get trimmed down as we slowly complete different tasks. Let's go ahead and disconnect everything up like a so. Then we'll go ahead and connect the liquid side of things up next. So let's get the solids connected, then we'll get the liquids connected up. Awesome. Uh, do I have enough of it? I don't think I'll have enough. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to have a lot of things. I just realized that we're low on splitters and we're low on copper underground. Should be fine on everything else, actually. Let's go ahead and put in the underground. So I know we're going to need one at least here. Where did I put it? I put it at the one underneath. There we go. Just trying to see kind of to match a pattern. Not that there needs to be one. It just helps with aesthetics. And a good looking factory is a functioning factory. Because, you know, a factory must always grow. It's like the demotivational, the factories, the factories exp expanding to meet the expanding needs of the expanding factory. I saw that on Reddit the other day. Pretty good. Reddit's a terrible place, don't ever go there. I mean, unless of course you are into weird factorio nuanced factory expanding to meet the expanding needs of the expanding factory things, but you know, the factory must always expand. Who am I kidding? 
We all serve at the pleasure of the factory. I was going to say the president, but it's we all serve at the pleasure of the factory. <laughs> Whatever the factory needs, we will do. The needs of the factory are our needs. And it appears I forgot to connect some underground. Which is not good. Uh, the damn robot stole that out of my hand. Alright, well let's go grab some more pipe. And underground splitters, because apparently we need more. Uh, I didn't realize we needed as many as we did. So let's go ahead over to that. Oh, actually, I believe we just go straight up. Uh, not quite. Almost. We're close. Oh, geez. The slag is pretty much being fully, fully used, which is good. It's good to see, though. Oh, geez. Oh, Factorio. Why are you chugging like that, bud? I made it angry. It doesn't like to be angry. Uh, over there. Maybe I said something to upset the uh, factory's feelings. I'm sorry, factory, that I have angered you. Alright, so let's grab those splitters. Let's go and grab a bunch of underground. Uh, oh, copper pipe underground. That should be over on this side. Yeah, should be somewhere over here. Uh, iron, copper. Let's grab both sets. Let's go ahead and grab a bunch of this iron normal pipe as well. We're going to use it. I've been using a lot of it in crafting. Um, not so much actually placing down. Which is good. I mean, it speeds, speeds up the crafts by having it, which is nice. It's just it's annoying when I actually need it, though. I will say, I wish I could reserve an item. Like, oh, I only want these 500 gears to be used in production. Well, and I guess in this case, pipe. I, I want 500 pipe to be used in production. Like, use it for crafting. But this other 500 pipe, no, don't touch it. Don't craft with it. Ignore it for crafting. I kind of lock it so it doesn't get used. There might be a way to do it. I'm sure, again, I'm sure there's a mod for it. If you think of it, there's probably a mod for it. Although that's not necessarily always the case, because there are surprisingly a number of things that I think of that aren't mods, and I'm like, wow, this should really be a mod. If only I had the time and the patience to do that. Because, you know, modding is fun. Until it is no longer fun. I enjoy playing other people's mods more than I enjoy trying to make mods. At least for now. Also, time is also another big factor as to why I don't make mods. Although I would look, there, there are some pretty good ideas I have, or at least I think so, um, for, for mods. But it's it's one of those I don't have the time to dedicate to it. Then it's like, oh man, I don't want to dedicate all that time and then it not work out. So, you know, kind of a defeatist mindset, but... Oh well. Maybe over the summer I'll invest some time into that and put it here on the YouTube. Alright, well, while we continue going through this massive field... Hey, that finished. Uh, let's go ahead and research some things that are, again, like in the last episode, things that are actually useful and actually have meaning. Like that. Um, yeah, we are really scraping the barrel here for things that we can research. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. We do have yellow science now, so we can research these. So we aren't entirely out of research now, which is good. We have some options. Options, people. Options. Oh. Almost have it all fully completed. We're getting there. We're going to have to put another radar down. Uh, do I have radar on me? Yes, but I want to make more. What the hell are these? Robot attack. Oh, yeah. I forgot we have that. Damn it. We have, we have mods that I wanted to use, but we can't because we don't have biters. I suppose I could try to tinker with the save. See if I can get them to spawn in the unexplored sections of the map. Because I know that 
it's one way. Especially when the game would update uh, between, like, I don't want to say major updates, but, like, for instance, if you added a uh, a new ore. Because I remember when uh, uranium, the, the big change, when, oh, uranium is now in the game, guys. Um, and then Bob's was like, well, well, more specifically, Angel's was like, well, I don't know how to account for this. Uh, so for now, it's just going to spawn also. And so, before it was fully incorporated into the mod, and we saw very interesting ways to, to get it, because you would have to go explore the unexplored sections of your map. It's like way out here, and so for some people, especially with the modded radar, as you can see, you'll scan quite a ways, and there are definitely better, bigger, upgraded radar, especially if you're playing with uh, RSO. I think we might have the RSO mod. Maybe not. Well, let me phrase. We're not playing with RSO, but I have played with RSO radars or resource spawner overhaul. It used to be good. It's it's had problems in the past. It's one of those hit or miss things I find. It's it's good for what it does, I should say. Oh, I don't want to even say it's good for what it does. It's okay for what it does or what it's supposed to do. Base Game Factorio has significantly come a long way from uh, when they originally released, like, the uh, world gens and stuff. So. Alright, so there's going to be an underground there. We'll just do something like that. It's jank, but it works. Boop. Boop. Auto save. Um. Okay, connect everything up like that. I feel like connecting up solids are a lot harder than liquids, but I think that's mainly because liquids you can pretty much go in any direction. It's omnidirectional fluid. This is not omnidirectional handling. Oh, and we, I totally did not plan for that. I, I really didn't, but it worked. Um, alright, so now the next component is going to be hooking up the fluids. Um, so there's two fluid intakes. There's the pulp, which we're now going to be making. Yes, well, we, we already are making it. Um, and then the other one is the fish water. Hmm... Okay, this is going to need to be moved. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose we do something like this. Hmm. No, at least that's got to go there. <laughs> okay. What if we route it weirdly through here? Yeah, that's not great though. Well, we could, we could do something like that. Okay. So let's again, let's hypothetically see if we do this. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that then. Um, oh yeah, so yeah, we'll do that. I'll do like that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Want to maintain. Let's go to remove those. Technically. Oh, well, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll do that. 
So that just ties the top two. Yeah, that's fine, because then I'll be able to... Yeah, yeah. That's good. As for the top one, well, the pole, we're going to have to run weird. We will run the pole on the next time. Yeah, that's fine. Um, um, let's hook up all the outputs, actually. Luckily, this is actually a really easy way. Come up like that. Uh, that orientation there. Somewhere is producing fish water. Polluted fish water, too. The fish water we need. Uh, so let's go like that. And awesome. Okay, so that should all be hooked up. So now we have to hook up the pulp. And the already made fish water that we need to pollute, basically. Weirdly, this is just making pollution. Polluted water. Um, yeah, that's kind of a great thought to think about. And other slightly weird, or less weird, thoughts of Factorio. We are getting close. I don't want to say we're getting close to the end, but we are we are getting there. We are definitely getting close-ish. Um, for in terms of science, we really only have one more pack we need to make, and then science or then space science we get from launching the rockets. We do have the space exploration mod turned on. However, I don't know how much into that we're gonna go. That we might just very very lightly skim that. Honestly, I think we'll call probably a completion of the series once we start launching rockets somewhat uh, consistently. But nothing like major. There, 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 there's gonna not really, there's not really gonna be a major like uh, official end other than just probably us launching a rocket. Now we're gonna have to think of a new series. If you guys have any ideas, leave uh, leave them down below. Because I'm leaning... Possibly Minecraft, but I'm also leaning... What was the other one I was thinking of? Seven Days to Die could be an interesting one as well. Uh, let's go like that. Uh, so that should power? Maybe we didn't power it up to the top. Maybe not. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas for a uh, future series, leave those down below in the comments. Okay, why is this not powered? Oh, because this one's also not powered. That should be powered. Awesome, the grid totally didn't just get a bunch of these things plugged in. Once. Okay, so now we just need to hook up the nutrient pulp, and in theory, this entire array should work. Keyword should, should and does, don't always, don't always happen. Okay, so we go there. Make sure we pre-position all these. Should also make sure that we have enough of uh, what we need in order to get everything functioning. Let's go ahead and connect everything like that. Awesome. And like that. Yep. 
Maybe we'll... Maybe. And then hook that final thing up. Awesome. Okay, so now... Yeah, so some of them are already functioning. As you can see here, there are some random ones that are functioning, which is good to see. Um, so now the next component is, I want to see how much brown algae we need for this. So I don't, you know, I did not plan the, the, the brown algae portion. Please tell me how many we're making is plenty. We need six. Okay, well, we already have five, so we only need to throw one more in here and we're good. Right, so let's go ahead and do that, just so that way, of course I don't have one made for these machines. Algae farms. In order to make an algae farm, we just make an algae farm. Okay, cool. Uh, some sort of input. Not sure if these are lacking inputs. Are they producing enough? What? Are you getting your... Oh, you're... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, you're just getting it for this, huh? Well, that's nice. Minus the fact that... Eh, well, it's not full of mud yet. Let's go ahead and just produce some brass chests. These are going to greatly increase. Oh, yeah. That's going to greatly increase capacity for a while. Um, and that, of course, is backed up. We have fixed that problem. Uh, there's plenty of beans... Beans in the bean land being uh, made, which is good. Let's go ahead and just transfer, speed up that transfer rate. Awesome. Always love to see it. Cool. We might even actually. Oh, you know, I should probably check that. Uh, belt wise? Oh, hardly half. Awesome, awesome. That's good. Actually, that's great, in fact. Uh, there's nothing here that's going to be more than an even half a belt. Awesome. Alright, so now with this done, it is that time, so let's go ahead and call it. Thank you all for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, all those fun things. And that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.